Hello everyone, my name is Zillia. This is Matt. Hi. And we are doing another episode of Grid 2. This time it's super huge. Big ass trucks. Australian trucks and we're starting in Bathurst. Uh, Matt has this uh, white, blue and red, which kinda is sort of Australian flag colors. I chosen another approach. I chose the Australian soccer team, football team, or whatever you want to call it, team, which is yellow and green. <laughs> if, you, if you see Matt. Nice! <laughs> We're both flying the flag in different ways. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. I, th I thought, I thought uh, the one you were using was too American. Well, it's multifaceted. It works for me because I am American. Yep. Okay, I never drove this on this track or in, on, uh, in, in this game at all, so I don't know how this handle. It will be a challenge. And right hand drive, which is another challenge. Australians are weird. Oh god. It's already going crazy. Hey. This should have long vehicle alert. So this thing's a massive. Yeah, they do take up a lot of the track. <laughs> yeah. Especially as I'm heading into the most difficult part of the track. And the narrowest part of the track. Cold try to not crash into the wall, but it's impossible to do, especially if this son of a bitch is breaking in front of me. <laughs> really, Matt? Well, I didn't expect you to break there, dumbass. So? So, when you catch me by surprise, there's nothing I can do. You don't expect me to break in this section of the track. That's not a part you break on. The second S bit, you don't break until the very last left. Well, I figured out I might break, because the truck inside of me almost came to a dead stop, you know. Yeah, well, I can't predict the AI, bitch. Yeah, you can. Aren't you a robot? Now I'm back to P10 as Matt is comfortable somewhere in front. Douche. And now my mission is revenge. Two laps to go. And now it, it's Matt time to talk while I catch up. So yeah, nothing really interesting going on in front of me right now. I'm just trying to catch these couple guys ahead of me. Love this track though. One of my favorite race tracks in the world. Just because it's deceptively simple when you look at it. Deceptively difficult even. You look at the layout and it's like, oh whatever, but then you look at the massive elevation changes. As we started the climb of the mountain on the straightaway now, we do it a little bit further. I don't know what the elevation change is in Bathurst, to be honest, but it's more than spa. That is for sure. And everyone talks about how that track is full of ups and downs. And it's shorter than Spa, which means the uh, ratio is different. True, it is more sudden, but I think overall it is still higher than Spa. I mean, it actually is a mountain. Well, if, even if it's higher, the uh, Spa track goes up and down and up and down. It, like, on... F uh, what's the length? 8 kilometers? And you're kind of getting used to that, but here you're basically scaling the mountain within five and five and a half kilometers. So it's more sudden here as I mm -hmm. spin out and being wrecked into and being wrecked. Okay, if you spin out on this track, there's no hope for you. Well, you saw it. Well, did you watch the 12 hours of Bathurst? No. 
Yeah, it's what happened to the Nissan group that was competing. Spun out in carnage. But, um, and especially on the downhill bit here, with the uphill, it's sort of helped by that straightaway. But the downhill's all in the twisty bits, and it gets really exciting really quickly. Or really painful. And it can really quickly turn from, oh look, spectacular crash, to, oh shit, my favorite guy is in that spectacular crash. Mm -hmm. That's why I pointed out the Nissan. <laughs> I was watching the GTR. So, are you a Nissan fanboy, by any chance? Am I what? Are you a Nissan fanboy? By any chance? No, I just love the Skyline platform. Ah. The rest of their cars I don't give a shit about, but... I was about to ask you a question about Zeod. <laughs> Fuck that thing. <laughs> well, the Nissan and the R390, they're um, Group C-like machines from back in the day. Then again, all Group C cars are boner-inducing. So what are your thoughts on uh, Nissan Zio trying to compete in 24 hours of Le Mans? It was comical. <laughs> Just comical? Well, it was cute. They really tried to make an electric car that needed a battery charge after one hour work. For five laps. <laughs> Not even. Wasn't it like four and a half? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah. Ugh. They failed to finish the fifth. Which means with four minutes per lap, barely twenty minutes. And they were proud that they competed for like one hour. I still don't get it, I missed the beginning of the race. Why are they saying they held on for like one hour? If they gave up on the fifth lap. I don't know. It's not in the Japanese mindset to give up easily. Oh, they were just trying to... Um, Milk it for what it was worth. Find a socket or throw some batteries at it. That. I the line. Fuck you, man. <laughs> you wrecked my race. I was seven tenths slower than the leading AI car. I definitely need to practice that track. Oh, God. And I wrecked your race. You spun out afterwards. Well, second time. Well, I was mid back. I even, like, yeah, mid back. You spun me out first I love that time. sponsor money I just got. I got $80 from a sponsor for driving over 80 miles an hour. <laughs> Don't you like those 80 bucks? <laughs> I could buy a hooker for that. In Australia? Nah, maybe. Yeah. Or Let's ask Adam. <laughs> hey, Adam, is your wife available? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> what if he's the one person who watches these? That we lost the last person watching this. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yeah, Marina. Video taken down. <laughs> By a wild dossy. <laughs> oh, at night. Oh, it's night time. Oh, God. This is gonna get ugly. <laughs> no. That's not why I say, oh, God. No AI. AI? No AI. This is the last race of the day, people. <laughs> Oh my god, that's not fair. <laughs> that's what you get.
Don't worry, there's your fellow Ford next to me. I'll probably be wrecked within the next five feet. Oh, that was nice. Okay. Keep it steady. Man, in this game you can feel how heavy is that thing. And that thing is really heavy. I mean, it's a fucking truck. And he's already behind me, really, Matt? Oh god, that's not where you go. Yep, I'm not used to that shit. Fuck you, bullet. It feels like these things are afraid of uh, the apron, the rumble strips. Oh, oh I would fuck you call it. It almost looks like. Are these tires slicks? Yep. Oh, really? I think so. Oh, didn't know that. That might be the reason. Here, sweet cheeks. I love you very, very hard. Actually, that will make you run away faster. Damn it. So close here, so far. That's one hell of a finish. It was actually faster, fast. yeah. Two seconds. Yeah, a lot faster. Yep. I just spun out. <sighs> well, thanks to Codemasters not being able to master code, it's the last race of the Super Ute series. Join us next time when we do, I don't even know what. IndyCar, I guess, to round it off? Uh, yeah, maybe. We'll see you guys or next time. The prototypes. Bye!